So I'm here today to uh, give Ryan Boyko a call. Ryan is a Canadian-Ukrainian filmmaker. He produced, through his company Armistice Films, a film called That Never Happened, which is about Canada's first internment operations. Ryan has deep Ukrainian roots. He's using those contacts to get proper filmmaking equipment into the hands of people on the front lines so that they can document what's going on there. Hey Ryan, it's Chris. Um, Hi, how are you? I'm doing okay. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about that video. I'm and uh, of course sending cameras to Ukraine and making sure that those who have the capability of catching history have the tools to do so. There are so many human rights abuses. I mean, we've heard a lot, but I've heard some worse stuff um, that has been told to me from people who are on the ground. Not stuff that's been reported, not stuff that we've heard officially through the government channels, so not stuff that I'm sharing, but stuff that I've been told personally by people who've seen it. So whether we have conversations with those people in future documentaries, uh, and, and these are filmmakers, filmmakers who are there um, working as international uh, fixers for news crews, French news crews, Canadian news crews, American news crews, so they're on the front lines. Uh, risking their life for a paycheck, and currently most of them don't have their own equipment. So, so we're, you're doing what, doing what you can doing, for them. Doing the small little bit that I can. International human rights tribunals will be looking at these. Yeah. These yeah. photos the, and the, the the, I think the best weapons that we can send to Ukraine, are the cameras, the cameras and the media and the batteries to make sure that they can tell the stories. Also. Uh, microphones, stuff that's going to capture the sound, capture everything in order to make sure that, that uh, yeah, these human rights tribunals have the appropriate footage, that the filmmakers, the documentarians have the ability to access their own footage after the fact without having to buy it back from those news organizations that they are currently working for. So that was one of the big concerns that was told to me is, hey, what are we going to do um, when everything is done, so we're going to have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars for footage that we helped shoot. Um, Which would be a bit on the ridiculous yeah, side. It's, it's, it is ridiculous. So we're also uh, talking with a fair use lawyer in the United States to make sure that we have the best advice as far as being able to access footage that has made its way into the public and the ability to use that as well. So I will also be sharing that advice with the Ukrainian filmmakers that I know or that are interested in working with us in order to tell their story. And you've already told the story of the Ukrainian people through a historical film. Yeah. And that's yeah. airing on Wednesday, you said. On Wednesday, we'll be showing That Never Happened at the Varsity Cinema in Toronto. At, and it's something that is... Um, I've been fortunate, has gotten legs, it's gotten traction. Um, we've been able to use it. We showed it at all 11 Magic Lantern theaters across Western Canada to help raise money for the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, which is a Canadian organization, but they still have administration fees. They have still stuff that they need to spend money on that they haven't had any relief for. So rather than sending it to the Canada-Ukraine Foundation and sending that money directly to Ukraine. We thought it was important to keep some money in Canada and make sure that these organizations that are doing great things um, were getting a little bit of a leg up in order to keep doing those great things because they're in it for the long haul. This, this isn't going to be anything quick. If the war was over tomorrow, these organizations are still going to be uh, running hard, working hard, and we wanted to make sure that we s support them in our small little way that we can. And on that note, you've got work to do. I do have work to do. I have a, a meeting to get to and a theater to get to. And uh, and you better be running hard. Thank you so much for your time, Ryan. All right. Thank you.